Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. We are kicking off this holiday deep cleaning challenge. So here is the printout that I have for you on my blog, lovelythingswithabby.com. You can go and get this and you can also tune into a playlist that I made on there as well that's kind of holiday inspired. All right, so we're gonna get started and ah, a package. It's the season for these. <laughs> So we are tackling the first impressions today. That is the theme. And honestly, like um, I mentioned before, that this can be done over the week. You don't have to try to tackle all these tasks in one day. So it really depends on your timeline, how much time you have to work with. But basically the idea is to get the whole home deep cleaned before you have company over for the holidays. So that's what all these zones are about. That's what we're doing here is just taking one area at a time getting it really clean and ready for those guests and festivities all the fun we're gonna have If you're wondering about any of the products that I'm using in this video, um, I do have a video that I did on my favorite natural cleaning products because I'm trying to have a toxin-free home as much as I can. So I did a, a video where I kind of take you all around the house and show you my favorite products that I use, why I love them. So I'll have that listed actually at the end of this video if you're just curious about what I'm using. So you'll notice I'm in sandals. That's because the weather's just been all over the place. Some days it's like really cold outside. Other days it's warm and we have the windows open. My husband's wearing shorts this day. So I am on a step stool here. I had underestimated how high up these windows go. So I'm going to see if I can recruit my husband to help me finish this project. Currently expecting uh, our second child. I'm in my third trimester and I don't really feel confident getting up on a, on a ladder to do this myself. So I'm gonna see if he'll help me out later. Okay, so we've got the front porch completed it's nice and fresh and now I'm brainstorming out of how I can make it more welcoming so I think what I'm going to do is probably put together a wreath and maybe some other festive touches that reflect the season as well that'll be a fun little weekend project okay so when you first walk in my house this is our entryway I didn't know how I felt about this house with the steps being like what you see when you first come in but we've renovated these steps they had old carpet and we painted them and put a stair runner and so now it looks so much better okay this is our coat closet i turned it into a media closet and i keep all my recording stuff in there and uh, so i'm going to convert it back to a, a coat closet for while we have guests over the holidays so i'm thinking for this door i would really like to add a sign that kind of encourages people to take their shoes off something like this would be perfect I would love to replace this light fixture with more of a black pendant style that kind of goes with what else we've redone in this house. I'm gonna get this all dusted and sanitized. Okay, so that was the foyer. That was pretty easy. The stairs uh, don't need any sweeping or anything because my husband just cleaned them did some touch up paint and installed that stair runner. So what I have a special project in there is just to add that shoe removal sign. And now we're getting into this messy dining room that doesn't get a whole lot of use until around this time of year. So it collects project stuff. And so I'm gonna just clear all this out. And you'll see that my walls are pretty barren here. I have a really hard time committing to art, to wall art. I don't know why. <laughs> It seems like such a commitment, you know, when you invest in a piece of art and you put it on your wall and it's like, what if you change your mind or I don't know. So I meant to have something in here on the walls. I was thinking something like family photos of like people eating or sitting around the table. Kind of like the family style photos that you see in like an olive garden. Oops. 
And this, friends, is where my chandelier blew as I was dusting. We had been worried about the chandelier. It seemed like it has like a buzzing noise. The lights often go out. And so I think finally it just gave up the ghost. So I'm going to have to tell my husband that we might need a new chandelier. Which honestly I'm not too sad about. I've been wanting to do something a little more farmhouse style with that light fixture. So here is where my husband came in and I had to confess to him that I broke the chandelier and he took it really well and now we're in the market for uh, something new, something more our style as well. So now we're cleaning off this vent. I I'd like to replace this too, but for now I'm just going to clean it up so it's at least not so dusty. I feel like this is the room that collects the most dust. Perhaps it's because that vent is right there. Okay, so that is the dining area and that's all that I had on my list to do today and it went by fairly fast. There are some uh, touches that I want to add. One, replace the chandelier. <laughs> For the most part, I'm pretty happy with how this space looks, but I think there I need something in my little, oh, what is that called? Anyway, my art piece there that's empty. If you have any ideas for what I can fill that with, please let me know in the comments below. Well friends, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope it was an encouraging video for you to help you deep clean your home. Don't forget you have free printouts and a playlist available on my blog, Lovely Things with Abby. And I'm going to hopefully see you in my next video where we will be tackling day two. Alright, until then, bye!